Doug Ford used to be the Premier of Ontario. No longer. He's now the Emperor of Ontario. Unlimited power until next December. And he's making his decisions seemingly in a vacuum. No medical officer is saying the schools have to be closed. He said they're closed. Roman Babber is a former Conservative MPP, kicked out of the party by Emperor Ford. He joins me right now because he's an independent thinker. He's still an MPP. And I want to ask you, who is giving Ford advice? I mean, right now, it seems that the cabinet's not even giving him advice, as opposed to the caucus and MPPs. What's going on in Ontario? Well, the understanding is that he's getting advice from his pollster and from his campaign manager, um, who is uh, a lobbyist, which is fine. But you still can't oust the role of cabinet and caucus. We learned that's, this. One, that's what they're there for. <laughs> we learned from the, in a very interesting uh, story in the Toronto Star this week that Ford is planning a cabinet shuffle, and he's specifically planning on dumping the anti-lockdown ministers. Uh, oh, so anybody who voices any objection at all, like you did, you got kicked out of the party, he's going to kick them out of cabinet? That's what the Toronto Star seems to suggest that they were told by insiders, which is very regretful. But in fact, it explains quite a bit about Doug Ford and his premiership. Uh, they, um, sh they cut first and, and then measure, yeah. is, is the suggestion. And um, I, I like to joke that a year later, and respectfully to the Premier, he still mispronounces the name COVID. He calls it COVID. And the issue there is that no one actually dares to correct him and say, hey, boss, it's COVID. And so because of that, you get decisions such as, well, I'm not going to open the schools, but I'm going to have graduations for all grades without thinking it through or talking to anyone. There's an old story about the emperor having no clothes, no one having the nerve to tell the emperor that he's walking around with no clothes on. I mean, it's the fact that aside from shows like this, I know mainstream media won't do it, but, but saying, Premier, you know, you've got a serious problem here. The entire COVID exercise has been in the emperor has no clothes whether it's the fact that the public health measures mostly do not work, right? whether it's the unfair narrative about the virus, that one upsets me the most. Yes, it's a serious virus. Yes, it's very dangerous to some yes. folks, especially in some circumstances. But we knew, come May, where it affects, how it affects, and we simply refused to do triage and presented an unfair medical narrative. The emperor has no clothes. And so it's not going to get any better, though, because he has now unlimited power until uh, the end of this year, this end of this calendar year. And um, I guess some, but some people are saying, well, it doesn't matter what you say, Mr. Premier. I mean, it's supposed to be a lockdown. We are the, officially the most locked down city in the world. And you go outside, people are driving, people are in the streets, people are in stores, but you just can't go to restaurants. It's not just restaurants. It's, it's the shops, it's the beauty industry, it's, it's organized sports. But there's also a, a corresponding effect throughout the economy. I speak yeah. to a lot of business owners. No one's paying their bills. Receivables are stuck. And business is generally down. Professional services, healthcare services, we're witnessing a disaster. It is a disaster in many ways. Roman, thank you very much. A little bit more than three minutes. Our Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, recently stood up in the House of Commons and prefaced his remarks by saying, and we will only work from the facts, quote, unquote, and then proceeded to lie by saying Britain was in a horrible, horrible third wave trying to show, in fact, that Canada was not the worst in the world. Britain, though, had vaccines. Canada did not. And this was not reported in the mainstream Canadian media, the media paid for by Justin Trudeau. All of which, I'm telling you, is that it's important to have this three-minute interview. Please subscribe, ask your friends to subscribe, and press that PayPal thing so we can continue on to bring you the news you otherwise might not know.